Dawson, who collaborated with Christensen on the 2003 movie Broken Glass, discussed the first season of Ahsoka, which ended in October of last year, with the Dagobah Dispatch podcast on Entertainment Weekly. The star of Daredevil and Haunted Mansion talked on getting Christensen back for Ahsoka in Star Wars, stating, I love Hayden, he's such a wonderful man. I got to know him a little bit when we were younger, Dawson continued. I witnessed a significant portion of his initial trip upon joining the series. Dawson continued by discussing Christensen's 2022 return to Star Wars, which was as Obi-Wan Kenobi. To witness the response Christensen received on Obi-Wan Kenobi. With the chance he had to become Anakin, though Seth Anakin was amazing. He didn't get to sit for that long, all we got to see of him was him turning into Darth Vader. Then Dawson made another mention of Christensen in Ahsoka, remarking, it was nice to see him in the Clone Wars clothing. With George Lucas's second prequel picture, Attack of the Clones, Hayden Christensen was first introduced to a galaxy far, far away in 2002. Before taking a protracted break, the Canadian actor returned to the role of Anakin in Revenge of the Sith in 2005. Christensen's voice was heard as Anakin spoke to Reed in 2019's The Rise of Skywalker, encouraging her to take on Palpatine. He also appeared in a film with Ewan McGregor in 2022. As Ahsoka's first season came to a close, Thrawn had returned to the familiar areas and Rosario Dawson's Jedi had become lost in a different galaxy. Dawson provided a dismal update regarding Ahsoka season 2, despite the fact that the show ended on a sort of cliffhanger, stating that she hasn't heard anything about fresh episodes of the show coming soon. Nonetheless, Dawson has stated in past interviews that she is confident a second season will be produced someday.